Good morning, good morning, everyone. This is Financial Literacy 101. And today I'm excited because we're going to talk about some stocks that I've been actually waiting to blow up. I've been waiting a very long time, as you guys should know. I've been probably waiting around anywhere from one to two years about marijuana and cannabis stocks. Now, stock in my portfolio that I'm going to get to eventually that I've actually made some money off of is not that much, but I'm still up 40%. Now, again, everything has to do with the quantity of a stock that you have at the price point that you buy it at and how much that has grown over time, according to the percentages and things of that nature. Okay. So first and foremost, we have to put this out because I know this has been big news for people who are investors, people who are business owners, people who are users, and people who are abusers of this particular medicine, this particular drug, this particular narcotic. Now, we understand that next week, this uh, the federal marijuana legalization bill is officially scheduled for the House floor vote next week. This is very, very important, okay, especially to a lot of our portfolios um, that we've been actually investing in certain stocks like Sundial Growers as well as Grow Generation, which these two are actually in my portfolio. The other two are not, but I may buy some options of one of the stocks that we'll go over here today. So I am very, very excited. I hope you are too. Whether you are investor, business owner, user or abuser, this video is for you. All right, let's move right into the review. Let's first go over Sundial Grows, one of my favorites. Now, all of these stocks are at different price point that I believe that a lot of you actually can get into. There is no excuse for you guys not to invest. As you know, this stock right here, ladies and gentlemen, is only 86 cents, okay? 86 cents per share. Now, over the past three months, this stock has been up 30%, okay? This is even prior to the federal government coming out and say, yeah, we're gonna actually put this on a 4-4 vote. Now, let me tell you the good thing and bad thing about this. The good thing about it being federally recognized, that means no... No state can essentially outlaw it, right? It's federally recognized. You may be even to uh, carry a couple of ounces in your uh, in your luggage when you're flying state to state, okay? Not across country, but state to state. Now, I know what some states are going to do, like some red states, some um, blue state. Not, no, not blue states. More like purple states, okay? Them states that people really don't live at, but they want to make their own laws like uh, Idaho or some states like that that's totally illegalized. OK, it's totally illegal to have CBD or medicinal marijuana, recreational marijuana, states like that. Right. Which is only three. There's only three states that marijuana of any sort, even CBD or is totally illegal. We're going to go over that as well. But sundial growers, I told you guys long time ago, some of these stocks you have to invest in and you have to just wait, 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 wait. Because it's coming. Canada, the entire country of Canada has legalized weed. There's people in Washington State that just go up to Canada and smoke weed for the entire weekend, okay? Because it's legalized, but they don't do that no more because now Washington State is legalized weed. So they smoke it there, Oregon, uh, Colorado, and all these other places. Even D.C. is legalized weed. And we're talking about recreational because I've never seen a state that had recreational legalized marijuana, but didn't have medicinal. So don't worry about it. If I say recreational, I'm also meaning medicinal as well. And then a lot of these states, even Texas, a red state like Texas, has approved CBD oil. OK, but anyway, let's get into it. So over the past month, it's been up 68 percent. The past week has been up 74 percent. I'm rounding up. And in the pre-market, it's up 15 percent. Look at my portfolio, ladies and gentlemen. I have 495 shares. It's only one point, um, by 1.30, I rounded up again, 1.30 of my portfolio. I'm up 36% at $112. Of course, to make a lot more money, I would probably need 10 times the amount for me to really be bragging how much money I made off this stock, okay? So that's what I'm going with. We have some more to cover here. And here's a forecast amount here. They're expecting this to go up to 97 cents. So you're almost going to make 10 cents on a dollar if you invest right now and you will even make more 
if you get into options, okay? Especially if this goes over a dollar and you buy an option at the current price point it is now, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday. This is going on the floor next week. Here's the pros and cons. The pros, these stocks are going to blow up if it passes through. Don't forget, the Democrats um, control the House and the Senate. Now, Kamala Harris was stating that they're going to essentially approve marijuana, okay? That's one of the things that they wanted to have done. Now, we're not going to get reparations, but we'll get some blunts. <laughs> I had to throw it in there. I'm sorry, family. I had to throw it in there. I couldn't help it. But nonetheless, this is a stock that you guys can make some money on. I've already made some money on it, and you can as well. Now, organic gram, organic gram, okay? For the past year, as you see, it's been down 47%. The past three months, down 11%. The past month, up 22%. The past week, up 20%. And in the pre-market here, we're up 6% because all of these stocks are expecting that the federal government is going to pass this legislation. They're going to pass this bill. Now, if you guys want to do a lot of covered calls, understand that you need at least 100 shares to cover your call on this particular one. But I know some people are banking on I'm going to do a call option and I'm going to do a put option because if this doesn't get passed, the, these stocks are going to drop. OK, and we have to wait maybe another couple of years for this really to bounce back. For me, I'm going to hold on to it. OK, so that's what this is about. If you guys are not familiar with Organogram, this is the engages in production and sale of medical marijuana. It focuses on producing cannabis for patients and adult recreation consumers okay let's not forget about that organogram they're expecting this at a high at 153 increase at four dollars and 20 cents per share currently is a dollar and 77 um, um per share a dollar and 77 cents per share so again these are all stocks within most of you guys budget believe me whether it be sundial growers or organogram these are all under $5, okay? Let's move right along. Now, Village Farms International, okay? This is the one that I'm eyeing currently right now, and I'm going to tell you why right after this, okay? So in the last year, it's been down 52%. The past three months, around 11%. The past month, up 20%. The past week, up 21%. And then in the pre-market, is up 3.45, so roughly 3.5%, Okay. For you guys are not familiar with this one, Village Farm International engaged in the management and operation of agriculture greenhouse facilities. Emily. All right, here we go. All right. So anyway, as I covers the production and supply of cannabis products to be sold to other licensed providers and governments across Canada internationally through Pure Sun Farms. OK, this is the one that I'm eyeing. I already invested another $50 in Sundial Growers this morning, FYI. OK, uh, let's move right along here. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Give me a second. All right. They're expecting uh village farms to reach 17 dollars per share and don't forget village farms is currently at six dollars per share so that's almost a 200 percent increase so that's almost uh for every dollar you invest you'll get two okay i just kind of want to put it into perspective right so if you invest in six dollars per share you're probably looking at an increase of for every share that you buy, $18. I mean, excuse me, $12 on the, on, on the amount of profit that you can make off those shares. So that's something to look at, okay? Then last but not least, the notorious, the infamous grow generation. I've been going hard on this one, but I've been telling you, I've been let down. I got in what I thought at a low price point, but it has dropped more than I thought it would drop. Oh, okay, so... Uh, grow generation in the past year has been down roughly 76%. The past three months, down 20%. The past month has been up 36%. The past week, up 23%. And the past day in the pre-market is up 8%. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. So I have around 45 shares at about 1% and a half of my um, portfolio diversity. 
but I'm down $821 at a negative 63%. Yeah, I've been waiting on this for a very long time. And to me, it has to deal with the, the, the very fabric of the marijuana and can cannabis industry because you need a supplier that gives you the equipment to grow the marijuana. Either you're growing it naturally or, or like this one, it deals in the retail of hydroponics and organic specialty gardening products. It offers light fixtures because, you know, certain cannabis products have to be under a certain light for a certain amount of time. And they're now doing all of these new innovative ways to grow marijuana and cannabis underwater, dealing with hydroponics. The, uh, it says the nutrients, the seeds and growing media system trays, fans, filters, humidifiers and dehumidifiers, timers, instruments, water pumps, irrigation supplies and hand tools. So all of these are, are very important to the to the network and to the mainframe of creating a, a solid foundation of a cannabis farm. OK, and if you notice, Village Farms deals in the United States and Canada, as well as international. Unfortunately, all of these stocks, OK, all of these stocks, except for, you know, stocks of this nature are in Canada. The headquarters is in Canada, but this one's in the United States because they're not, quote unquote, a cannabis farm. They're selling the products for you to grow cannabis. OK, now let's get down here. I'm going to get down to the 52 week high. This is what I was referring to. Now, the current stock price, as I showed you up here, is around $11, so $10.80, right? My average charge of the stock was $29, okay? So I'm already down $19 per share, okay? But it says my today return, $33, up 7.35%. But when we come down here, we see the 52-week high in the past year, it was up to $57. And then the low... The 52-week low is $6.74. So it's only up $4 for the 52-week 52, uh, 52 low um, has been. So I'm kind of like right in the middle. So hopefully it can gain some traction with this new bill on the floor. But any anyway, this can go 50-50. We really don't know what's going to occur. A lot of people are going to give you different commentary, different information, different political views of what they believe how the vote is going to go. Now, some people are going to be right. Some people are going to be wrong, but we just don't know how this is going to vote. Now, I can tell you one thing for sure, ladies and gentlemen, if there are a lot of senators, if there are a lot of congressmen with uh, shares in any of these cannabis, anyone, there's a lot of them, cannabis organizations, cannabis stocks, they're going to be voting yes, or if they want to smoke some, they're going to be voting yes, because then on a federal level, just like alcohol, just like alcohol, you can smoke marijuana <laughs> or use marijuana or abuse marijuana prior to. These are some of the things that we just have to look at. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I always ask this question to any and everybody. OK, I always I always ask this question. If it was 12 o'clock at night, it was midnight and you was coming back from a store, from the club, whatever. And there was 100 drivers on a roll all next to you. Would you want them to be drunk off of alcohol or would you want them to be high off of marijuana? You got to pick one. Me personally, I'd rather for them to be high because most of them are going to drive very slow. They're going to be very focused. OK, where. We all know that alcohol, you lose your motor skills. You all over the lane. You Okay. So I don't understand why this particular narcotic has been demonized, right? And it's almost like they say, oh, well, you know, black people smoke a lot of weed. No. Do you know that, and I hate to say this, you can look at the statistics yourself because you got to go by percentages, okay? Because we understand that according to the population of the census record, we're the third largest population, so you can't go by hard numbers because that will always be disingenuous of the statistics and the data. Now, if you go by percentages, more white people use drugs than black people. Yeah. And, in, 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 and most likely people who are in poverty, it's just always normally that they do more drugs to kind of numb the pain of their current condition. But on average, percentage wise, there's more white people that do drugs than black people by percentage. I'm just letting that know. And again, I'm still confused about the psychology of people that you can go out and drink wine. Right. Because some things we make very prestigious wine and champagne and a good 
and a good uh, a scotch, right? We make these very procedures, very high level things that people do. And then we kind of look low level. You drink beer? Oh my God, you drink cognac? Oh no, I, I would never put that in my system, but we're drinking wine. It's all alcohol. Okay information than you probably asked for but nonetheless i'm giving it to you okay but the point i'm trying to make here is i don't understand why this drug has been so demonized because some people like oh it's been demonized because the federal government can't bank off of it yes it can once they if they pass this the federal government will have a new stream of income because now it will apply a federal tax on marijuana it already a federal tax on alcohol OK, when you go to certain states like Washington, alcohol is astronomically high. Because they incur no taxes at the PX and commissaries and things of that nature. Right. So but certain states are, have um, a lot of relaxed tax laws, but they still pay federal taxes on alcohol. The federal government will get their money. So it doesn't really matter. The federal government will put a federal tax on marijuana and they will be getting paid by legalizing this narcotic, okay? This quote unquote, um, and, and granted, there are some medicinal uses of marijuana. People who suffer from anxiety, people who suffer from um, stress and depression. Um, some people say, well, won't marijuana depression even more? No, there's different grades or different uh, strands of marijuana that can actually make you happy. I've actually done some um, studies on this because I think it's very important. And I'm not stating that everybody should go out and do marijuana. I'm not, okay, co-signing drug use at all. I'm not saying that. We're looking at it from a financial and a political stance. But as a, a, a the customer, as an investor, as a business owner, these are all the things you kind of have to rationalize to see if you're going to put your money where your mouth is so to speak okay so these are some of the things that you need to be looking at okay so i'm giving you all this information to stay to say at the end of the day we're about to go invest <laughs> okay we're about to go over here and i'm going to put the rest of my money in village farm now the question is this i don't know if i'm going to do options or i'm going to do total shares so i want to look at my options very quickly okay I want to look at my options and currently, oh, it's exploding. It's at 632. So I'm going to buy this around, I think I'm about one option. It should be around 60 bucks. You know what? Can, I think I have enough to buy two options here. I think I'm about two options. Yeah, I'm about two options. Let's see. There we go. And this is actually going to expire um april 14th it's expiring april 14th so i have about a good two and a half weeks to essentially exercise this option to buy the total shares or to sell this option and reap profits or accumulate a loss it really doesn't matter but there we go i'm gonna go back to my portfolio here ladies and gentlemen we're gonna look at my portfolio and currently this morning it looks like i am down let's see let's look at it live here the past hour, I'm down $100, $165, so to speak. Let's look at for today. There's still no calculations there. Let's look at for the week. For the week, I'm up $3,200, almost $3,300. And we see Village Farms right here, two buys to open. That's part of my pending orders. Let me see if I scroll down. Here are some other options, long-term options that I'm waiting to turn profit. Remember uh, Global Star? I made this. I could have sold this for a very small profit around, what, 50 bucks, but I did not just held on to it. I'm still waiting for NEO to bounce back. If you notice, I'm down $1,200 on NEO. Um, a lot of my friends, a lot of my um, um, subscribers have been talking about NEO. Do I believe NEO is going to bounce back? Um, I, I do believe NEO will bounce back especially if they create the battery swap technology where you drive inside of a stall of some sort and from the bottom of the car it replaces the battery so all in all it takes around what no longer than five minutes versus if you were to fill up your electric uh vehicle from start to finish people are talking about anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and they're talking about that's supercharging that's fast charging so you're talking about down from an hour to five minutes if they can build that infrastructure, and don't forget, 
neo cars are not in america so this is going to be beneficial to the chinese but it may be beneficial to your portfolio if you have invested in neo like i have so again i'm still waiting for neo to bounce back the jury is still out i do not know what i'm going to do plug power i'm up 350 uh something dollars i thought i'd do a lot better by now by plug power but i'm still a plus positive you see apple i'm up around 532 percent tesla is doing so so damn well i'm up 121 percent at three thousand dollars thank you tesla i bought tesla on the split like i told you guys before i bought tesla on the split very important very important uh let's see here we got vti i'm only up um around four percent triple q up a half a percent sundial growers i'm up 26 percent there's a lot of red in there berkshire b not berkshire a i'm up 15 percent there and amazon you see amazon i'm up 200 dollars, and i invested was about two weeks ago or so that we were talking about this that you got you guys have one share of amazon uh prior to june june 3rd the first week of june where they're going to do a 20 to 1 split and this is why amazon do certain things like this why is amazon telling the public we're going to do a 21 split but we're going to wait all the way to june because they want you guys to invest they want you to invest right now so their stock is profitable ahead of the split because currently when i gave that video amazon was down around 26 percent now on the year i think amazon is only like down what maybe like 12 percent now because it's been in, it's been gaining traction it's been coming back very very strong because of the news of the split so that's important to note as well uh what else is noting to speak i know we haven't been really talking about bitcoin okay i'm gonna go down into bitcoin very quickly i'm up 574 dollars at seven percent because we understand that Bitcoin has been doing very, very uh, well in this past week. Let me scratch this out for you guys. So it's been doing very well. And uh, Bitcoin is around 26% of my portfolio. I don't have a full Bitcoin. My equity is $8,600. And I bought Bitcoin when it was around $42,000. Okay. And you see my total return is uh, right around 560 to 570 as it fluctuating in the live market. And my today's return is $160. Um, we're talking about the fractional shares of Bitcoin. So there you have it in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. This is... One, learn money. You guys could be legally smoking weed. But you know what? There's one more thing I want to point out. I, was, I wasn't going to show you this, guys, but I think it's important for all you guys to see this all the states and how they categorized weed as being legal medicinal and decriminalized med uh, medical marijuana decriminalized marijuana cbd oil or fully illegal meaning they don't have medicinal cbd or no no sorts of tac or cbd oil in sight let's look at it first and foremost dark green the very dark green where you see Washington State, Oregon, California, Nevada, Alaska, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, as well as Montana, it's legalized. Marijuana is legalized for medicinal and recreational use. Now, dark green, okay, that's really dark green, and then you have dark green. You have these other states like Utah, okay, like Utah, that's not as dark as I would like it. In Utah, it's simply medical. But when we look at North Dakota and we look at Minnesota, we're looking at medicinal and decriminalized, meaning decriminalized, ladies and gentlemen, this simply means that there's a state level that you can have in your possession that will not land you in jail. Some states have a gram amount that you have over and because it's decriminalized, they will require you to go to rehab. Or you may still send some time in jail. Or No, you pay a fine. Excuse me. It's kind of like a speeding ticket. Oh, man, you got 10 grams of marijuana. That's a $150 ticket. But it's decriminalized. So if you got marijuana, you're not a criminal, but you may pay a fine. It's kind of like if you were speeding, just because you were speeding 5 to 10 miles per hour over the speed limit don't make you a criminal, but you did break the law. So you have to pay a fine, but you don't go to jail unless you was recklessly driving, drinking. I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot, right? When you talk about laws and shit like that, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. But we have to look at it like that. Let's move on. Now, decriminalized. We're looking at the light green, like Nebraska. 
and North Carolina, right? It says fully illegal is the status. Medicinal, no. Decriminalized, yes. So that analogy that I just gave you, take that with a grain of salt, but that's basically what it is, okay? Now, great, CBD only. Places like Texas is CBD only and is not decriminalized, meaning you can have CBD oil, but if you cut up with marijuana, with THC, guess what's going to happen? You're going to jail, okay? You're going to jail. So Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, not Illinois, Illinois is uh, actually legal, Indiana, Kentucky, and Georgia, okay? CBD only. And then fully illegal, these four states, where marijuana of any sort, even CBD, is fully legal, fully illegal and is not decriminalized. South Carolina, Kansas, Wyoming, and Utah. Now, other than South Carolina, these other three states, I mean, you really won't catch me in. Now, I know a lot of people saying they've been migrating to OKC. So, you know, Kansas City, good luck with that. Okay, good luck with that. Now, Wyoming and Idaho, blah, not too many people are moving to that state, Okay. But look at all the states that have legalized marijuana. I kind of did the West Coast and the Midwest states. Okay, we got Illinois. We got Michigan. Uh, what's this one up here? We got Michigan. Uh, is that all Michigan? Okay. Maine, Vermont, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Jersey. Uh, let's see here. Virginia. And you know D.C. is in here somewhere. Okay. They said with Maryland that uh, the legal status is mixed. Medicinal, yes. Decriminalized, yes. So all these are good, ladies and gentlemen. And Hawaii, they have it mixed as well. Medicinal, yes. And decriminalized, yes. And of course, if you guys want to check this out, they have a whole list of all the states. So be very, very careful if you're traveling from New Mexico into Texas and you have your legalized marijuana it's illegal in Texas. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you got some good financial information out of this and some insight on the political views of what's going to occur next week. This will be on the House floor. They will be voting to legalize marijuana on a federal level. I know a lot of you are like, this. Yeah. <laughs> we really don't know what's going to happen. But for me, an investor, I really don't care about the product itself, but I care about the gains and the profit I can make thing go live you guys have a great and wonderful friday i see you guys on the next one i'm out